Hey guys, it's Miss Richards. Uh, today we are going to look at rearranging formulas. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, oops, I needed to flip this around. Let's see here. Not that button, this button. So we are rearranging formulas. Um, I'm going to do a few quick examples and then you get to do stuff on your own. So number one, well, first off, we've got three different formulas. We've got standard form, intercept form, and vertex form. When we start graphing these quadratics, you're going to be a little bit more familiar with these. Um, but basically, going from standard to vertex, you find the vertex. From going to vertex to standard, you multiply. We cannot go from intercept to vertex. You can go from standard to intercept. All you have to do is factor. And then from intercept to standard, you have to multiply. So let's just get right into this. On the first example, we've got intercept form, OK? So and it says to go from intercept form, let's say to standard form, intercept standard, we just have to multiply. So you just have to multiply that like you have before. You're just going to multiply this to get to standard form. OK, so again, I'm just going to write down what we have. Y equals X minus 7 times x plus 1, x times x, x times 1, that's x squared, plus 1x, and then we're going to go underneath negative 7 times x, which is negative 7x, negative 7 times 1, which is negative 7. So we get x squared uh, minus 6x minus 7. So y equals x squared minus 6x minus 7. So to go from intercept to standard, all you had to do was multiply. OK, all we had to do was multiply here. OK, we've got intercept form. We've got standard form. Now we need to find vertex form. And this one's going to be a little complicated, so I need you to listen up. And, you know, this is going to be on the quiz, but I will give you these formulas. So what you need to know when you're going from we can't go from intercept to vertex, but we can go from standard to vertex, right? You just have to find the vertex. If you look back up at the top, it says find the vertex. To find the vertex, the x coordinate of the vertex, the x is negative b over 2a. All right, so if we go back and we look at this where we got standard form, our a value is 1, our b value is negative 6, our C value is negative 7. OK, so knowing that, we can plug that into this formula. So X equals, we have that negative already, and then B is negative 6 over 2 times A, and A is just 1. So we get the X coordinate to be 6 over 2, which is 3. So if the X coordinate is 3, again, we're using this. This is what we're using. We're using the standard form. If we plug in a 3 for x, we can find the y. So y equals 3 squared minus 6 times 3 minus 7. All I did, I used that 3. I plugged it in for x here and here. When you do this, I'm going to save some time. You plug this in your calculator. You're going to get negative 16. OK, so your vertex is at 3, negative 16. And for vertex form, that formula is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. And then your vertex is h and k. So our a was 1. So y equals, you can put a 1, x minus 3 squared minus 16. OK, so we have vertex intercept standard. Flip the page over. Sorry. If you need to pause the video, because I'm going a little fast, you can. There's the work for vertex form. We found the vertex at 3, negative 16. This is the vertex form. Again, you'll have this. You'll have this on the board when we take our quiz. That's Friday. Put the page over. OK, now we have vertex form. Remember your notes. You know, at the top of your notes page, it says, you know, to go from vertex to standard, all you have to do is multiply. 
So we're going to multiply this to get standard form. Um, y equals negative 3 times x plus 5 squared plus 3. And then so y equals negative 3. We're going to expand that to be x plus 5 times x plus 5. And then this random plus 3. So keep the 3 on the outside. We're going to distribute that x times x, x times 5. So that's x squared plus 5x, and then we're going to distribute the 5. 5 times x is 5x. 5 times 5 is 25. And then again, this random plus 3. I'm running out of room. So we have y equals negative 3 times x squared. 5x and 5x make 10x. So x squared plus 10x plus 25 plus 3. Now we get to multiply everything we got here by a negative 3. So you get y equals negative 3x squared minus 30x minus 75. And then again, we have this random plus 3. So your final answer, y equals negative 3x squared minus 30x uh, minus 72. That is standard form. Now to go from standard to intercept, you have to factor. So we're going to start here with um, negative 3x squared minus 30x minus 72. Okay, so now we have to factor. So you want to check and see if there is a GCF. There is a GCF. Um, the GCF is a 3. Okay, so we factor out a negative 3. We're left with x squared plus 10x, and then 72 divided by 3 is 24. So plus 24. So you want to come up with factors of 24 that add to 10. So we've got 1 and 24, 2 and 12, 3 and 8, 4 and 6. Well, 4 and 6 add to 10. So we've got negative 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 6. So your intercept form, y equals x plus, sorry, forgot the 3. Just kidding. Just kidding, guys. Negative 3 times x plus 4 times x plus 6. Okay, we've got that. So we've got standard intercept and we started off with vertex. Okay, we're good with that one. Last example. We are given standard form and we have to do um, intercept form and vertex form. So to go from standard to intercept like we just did, let's factor. We, that's fresh, so that's easy. Let's do it. So we've got x squared minus 2x minus 35. You're going to come up with factors of negative 35. So let's use our table. Again, I'm going to show you how to do this because some people didn't know. Um, you go to your table. We want to find the factors of negative 35. So to do that, it's negative 35 divided by x. Start at 1. OK, these are your factors of negative 35. You want to use the whole numbers. So basically, we have 5 and negative 7. Hey, does that add to a negative 2 as 5 minus 7 to negative 2? Yes, it is. So that's just going to be x plus 5 times x minus 7. So the intercept form is just y equals x plus 5 times x minus 7. OK, the fun part, going from standard to vertex, because we cannot go from intercept to vertex. Um, again, that's standard, that's intercept. So let's start out with standard form. y equals x squared minus 2x minus 35. OK, I've got like four minutes, and then my alarm's going to go off because I have to go to a meeting. Sorry if this is a little rushed. You can go back and rewatch the video. It'll be on Canvas. OK, so we've got to find the vertex. So A is 1, B is negative 2, C is negative 35. OK, so the x coordinate of the vertex, remember, is x equals negative B over 2A. And you will have this. I will give this to you. I'm not going to hide it from you. You'll have this information for your quiz. So x is going to equal 
negative, that's part of the formula, and then times a negative two, because our B is negative two, uh, over two times A, well, A is just one. So X equals, um, that's a positive two over a positive two, which is just one. So your X coordinate is just one. To find the Y coordinate, you have to go back and plug in that one for X here. So we've got uh, one squared minus two times one minus 35. So we get one minus two minus 35. So you end up getting what? Negative 36. One minus two is negative one. Negative one and negative 35 make negative 36. So your Y value is negative 36. Sorry, I'm running out of space here. Okay. So if our X is one, our Y is negative 36. I'm going to write the vertex over here. So we got space over here. The vertex is at one, negative 36. Remember vertex form, Y equals A times X minus H squared plus K. So for vertex form here, it's going to be our A was one. You can put the one, you don't have to, times X minus one squared minus 36. That's your vertex form. Your homework, guys, um, so at the top of this page, the, the, this is the notes we did. These are all the, the notes we did just now, okay? I want you to go and do um, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So you're finding intercept and, intercept and vertex when you're given standard. Um, you're given intercept, you gotta find standard and vertex. And then this one, you're given vertex form and you have to go back and find intercept and standard. Again, this little map helps. Again, rewatch the video if you need to. I hope you have a great day. I will see you tomorrow.